some of the highlights. Grant Boone, Morgan Pressel. Here's Amy Yang at the fourth. And coming off a red hot 61 yesterday. Tournament record, her low score of her career, birdie the first, and then. This to tie the lead with Pedersen making pars. Not just looking for a trophy today, but to work on it. Yeah, this is Minami Katsu, had a nice fight back yesterday. Started with a triple bogey seven, but ended up finishing with a round of 68. Short haul today, the ninth. Alison Corpuz, what a year for her. U.S. Women's Open champ, but besides that, in contention multiple times. And a nice way to finish. Talk about picking up shots on the field. Yeah. Birdie at 18, hardest hole of the day. Knows how to putt from these fringes. Looks like it's a touch into the green. Just have to watch if it bobbles a fraction at the start. See, that was a pretty good effort right there. Six birdies and an eagle on a clean card yesterday. Oh, wow. She's going to remember that one for a while. And she was on 59 watch yesterday. The two year lease to that Lamborghini Urus, Brooke Henderson. Who won a car with a hole in one at the KPMG Women's PGA back in 2016? So it's going to be hard to to get the right distance on this one. Oh, it's drawing. It hit into that last little upslope on the back left. I think may have slowed it down a touch. Arthur. That was a wedge on the way. Right to left win, just a little bit. Very good. At the 11th, this is Sarah Schmelzel for a birdie. You can see 62nd in the race to the CME Globe coming in. And that's going to help with Patty struggling. Lexi Thompson on the tee. Got to finish something like third to have a chance to make it back to Tiburon where she has won before. This will help. I going to say she's only about a four hour drive from home. Anywhere near that back shelf, okay? Yeah, it's, it's not an easy shot. You can just see the top half of the flag and you definitely don't want to keep it up top. And and it's a small target. I know we've seen Brooke and Lexi hit it tight, but it's a small area on the right side of this green where this flag is located today. Take dead aim. Yes. Beautiful. Has to deal with a mound that might kick this left to right. Chipping back into the wind. That was sweet. In the race to Naples. Roning in, second at the 11th. Allison Lee over the weekend. 13. Sarah Schmalzel for birdie. Up the hill. Is it going to drop? Oh, what a time for that putter to come alive for Schmalzel. Walking down here, just let it trickle down there. As long as it trickle down, trickles down from what we've seen so far, Karen, the worst thing you can do is leave it on top. Or right, oh. as it looks like she may have lost it. Is it going to go? No. It could be enough to really flip her round around like she made a putt on that hole yesterday. 17. Hey, on you with a second. A little bit more breeze out there, certainly when I was walking around earlier today. Stop. Let it roll up there and let it come back towards the hole. Yeah, she looks like she's aiming more straight at it. Yep. It's a steepest like Oh, wow. Yeah. That was a beautiful shot. If she was going to use the backstop, she would have needed to aim a little bit more right. Tough proposition coming up for her third shot. At the 13th, this is Megan Kang. 
said she's been striking the ball very well the last couple of days. There you going. Has dwindled and now Ronin Yen on the tee at 12. And her chances of winning player of the year are slipping away. But a beauty at the 12. This is Wailing Shi for a birdie at the 13th. Now Wailing is outside of the top 100. So we've been talking about uh, getting into next week. How about trying to keep your card? This is the third for Amanda Doherty. She needs a big finish if she's going to move into the top 100. And what a time to come up with a huge shot. Let's go to the 18th. And we talked about it. Not just the trophy at stake. Spots next week at the CME Group Tour Championship. And here is... From the Philippines, Bianca Pogdanadan, fourth year on tour. And Morgan, she's done what she's needed to do. Race that we're watching, 100th on the CME points list, Atha Munyot at the 12th. Kay Cockrell is there. Yeah, such a tough shot, trying to hybrid putt that. Just barely got it. This is so touchy. That's going to be pretty good into the green, going up the slope as well. Oh, this is... Uh, that was pretty well done. This is so good, Morgan. Wow. She's going to have to rely on Mikey a little bit, her caddy, Mikey Patterson, who's very experienced to help her turn the tide today. Up one. Allison Lee, second shot. Oh, she went after that wedge hard. Beautiful. Same can be said for Megan Kang. This is for birdie at the 15th. This will be for back-to-back -back birdies. And Megan Kang, who broke through and won for the first time, Keep her concentration because uh, she's still in front. Let's go to 18. And what a great story this is. Rachel Keane, who helped Wake Forest win the East Lake Cup in Atlanta last week. Got a sponsor invite. Morgan, she's played brilliantly. Got the seven on. From a nice flat lie. And five this week. None better than Amy Yang. She's uh, on 152. This is an eight iron. Off of a downhill lie, so it's coming in a little bit lower. Here she's very accurate. She carries six woods. Her first iron is a seven iron, so she laid up 70 yards for her third here. Very good with her wedges. The ball is just a bit below her feet, but when the ball hits the green, it's going to kick a little bit to the right. Well played. No, oh, that was short. Yeah, that was really short on the backswing. Mistake off the tee by Megan Kang. The bunker's down the left side. Ball above her feet. Not easy. Sit. Sit. Asking for it to sit. Yeah, it's going to be a quick putt, but it's on the green. It's at least 141. Hole sign on the 17th tee is a good target, about five paces right of the flag. Yep, that uh, was just about the angle and got a clap. Two shots off the lead. Second shot at 16 for Arthur Munoz. She's got a seven iron in her hand. Wind left to right. This is a very aggressive line. Come on. That looks like she's trying to take something off of that. that. You don't see too many golf balls end up left of that whole location on 16. Swing looks really good these days. Um, the rotation is great. She stays really connected. Nice sawed off finish on some of the shots. Beauty. Beauty. Oh, yeah. Oh. She's so good with her wedges, Morgan. Back left with the penalty area on the left. This one's drawing. Oh, what a shot. Should suit her eye here. What a beauty. Uh, it's just been a special year for for Lilia and her entire team. And this dream season has become a reality. Lilia Vu wins for the fourth time in 2023. Yeah, well and she takes home the Annika.
driven by Gainbridge at Pelican. 네, LPGA 코리아 유튜브 채널이 오픈을 했는데요. 어, 많은 분들의 관심과 응원 부탁드리고요. 어, 구독과 좋아요 네, 꼭 눌러주세요.